welcome back to my channel and happy last day of 2020. Well, at least for me, this video is definitely not going to be going up that quick. But it is New Year's Eve and I thought it'd be cool to do a little vlog. And I have a little tradition that I do with myself every year on New Year's Eve where I reflect on my past year and also plan for my next year. And thought I would share my process with you guys because it's honestly one of the things that I look forward to the most. Like, I look forward to it more than, like, going to a New Year's Eve party. I like seeing where I've come from, where I've made progress, and I love planning for the new year. So, my new 2021 planner just came in. So, that's where I like to do all my planning. So, we're gonna go. This is gonna be kind of like a two-part kind of video. So, one, I'm going to be giving you guys tips and steps on what I do. And then, two, I'm gonna be kind of going over all my personal things that I've done this past year. Kind of just as like a video diary to myself of all the things that I've accomplished this year. I am going to put timestamps down below in case I do ramble on about personal things and you guys are just here for the tips. So if you guys don't want to hear all of my personal stuff, you guys can just skip to the little sections uh, to uh, see what part would come next. So before we get into the video, please make sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Let me know what your goals are for 2021. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to see new videos in the future. Okay, so this is the planner that I just ordered. This comes from another YouTuber, which I think is really cool. It's the first time I'm ordering my planner from her. And look how cute it is. It's adorable. I'm very picky with my planners and was having a hard time finding a good one this year, but I really like this one so far. It's from Love Sweat Fitness. She has a YouTube channel and I am loving this planner so far. So I'll give you guys a little tour of it then. 2021 goals. I don't know. I just think that's so cute. So I like to keep my goals in my planner that I use on a daily basis. So it's a constant reminder of my goals for the year. But and some people don't like making New Year's resolutions, but the thing is, I make yearly goals, but then I also make monthly goals and then weekly goals, and I break it down and they change over the year. So I like keeping it all in here so you can see like the evolution of all my goals for that year. So before we get into my 2021 planner, we must go to my 2020 planner. And I've got all my goals I wrote down for this year, and I guess we'll see what I did and what I didn't do. So this is my 2020 planner. First of all, I can't get over how ironic it is like that I've got big plans and then I've got all of like my events written in written throughout in here and they're all can canceled because of just 2020. But uh, this planner is by Recollect. I think it's called Recollections. It they sell them at Michaels, the arts and crafts store, but they didn't have any of those this year. So we went with this one instead and this does have different sections for goals which is why I went with this. So I'm gonna break my process down into a bunch of different steps but um, let's just go ahead and look in my 2020 planner while we have it out. So this uh, had a good section in the front here where you can basically um, draw out all your sections of your life and then create goals for all of them and I'm gonna do that in my new planner too. This is kind of like what those sections look like in the front of this planner. And then I made a what I did in 2019 section. So we're going to do this all again in the new planner. Yes. So if you can't find a planner that has like sections to focus on your goals and stuff like that, you can honestly make them yourself as long as you have some pages that are just like plain notebook pages. A lot of them have them in the back and this one has, uh, this one I just got, it does have a lot of sections for it to like reflect back on the year and make goals, but I'm also going to make a section in the back with a detailed plan for like all my goals for this year. So again, I got this planner from Love Sweat Fitness. Uh, her name's Katie. I, I really like that I was able to support a YouTuber uh, by getting one of her planners. It's such a cool like merch item to have. I'd love to do something like this one day because it's something I'm passionate about. I love planning. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour of my new planner. So when you open it up, it's got a little pocket. It says this planner belongs to so and so. A little note from Katie. And there's a lot of cute artwork in here and stickers. 
So, cute little motivational page. And then we get into the planning. So, they start with a reflection of uh, 2020. And quite honestly, I think that's very important to do that before you move on to making goals for 2021. So, we're going to do all that. So, this is just a little section that I'm going to fill out that comes in with the binder but we're also or comes with the planner but we're also going to do kind of a similar thing that I did with this in the back section of this planner too. Manifest your best, create a little vision board. I love my vision board. If you guys want more videos on those, I think mine really helped me this year. Let me know down below. Then we get into the monthly view. Cute little cute little artwork. So this is what uh, a monthly view looks like. I usually like to write my goals for the monthly view right down here. Actually, there is a section for goals too. Yeah, so there is a little section right there. But she also, for each individual month, has uh, goals sections where you can write down your goals and like action steps. Because to me, it's really important to break my goals down into monthly and then weekly as well. So sometimes I even do daily go goals, which are more like to-do lists for me. But And then weekly view. And this is, I like that they have these little lines next to the days because these would be like my little to-do list for the day, which is really nice. And that's basically the layout for the months. And then in the back, uh, she has some fun stuff. So she's got like horoscopes, um, <laughs> just like fun things like face masks, daydream stuff, how to create good habits, ab workouts, full body workouts. She's a fitness channel, by the way, which is, but I like that she um, makes the goals not just about fitness, but about everything in your life too, which is really cool. Just fun little things. Oh, gratitude section. I think this is important. So I usually just write this in. Uh, where my goals are, but I like that she has that. And then we're a bunch of different things, but then we're going to get back to the section here that's like a little notebook section, which is where we're going to do more details of our goals for the year. So that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and start filling out the little things she has here and then I'm going to go to the back of the book and I'm going to kind of draw up a similar goal thing that I did um, in my planner from last year and uh, share that with you guys. Cool. First up for the process that I do every year is I reflect on the year before, like the past year to see where I made progress. So, so the first section I create is in 2020 I or um, what I did in 2020 and I make a list of all the good things that I did in 2020, different milestones, a few things that you measure like um, did you raise your income at all or you know stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a list of all the th all the good things that I did in 2020. Okay, so I made my list of what I did in 2020. So I kind of make a list of all the little things and then things that um, are measurable. I put at the end here. So my subscribers I grew and my uh, views like doubled and stuff like that. My subscribers, it's not as big of a jump, but I took like half a year off YouTube. So a lot of this growth is just from the past couple of months here. So it's still a big milestone for me. So I like to acknowledge it. And then next year I will have uh, 3,630 where this is and hopefully I'll have even more and more growth with the views as well next year. So looking back on the years, sometimes you might not realize like all the big things you did, but when you go to write it, you actually realize, wow, I did do a lot of good things this year. So it's good to be grateful for what you did so that you can move forward with, um, with gratitude and um, make the best of the next year. Which leads me to my second list that we're going to do. We're not done with 2020 yet. Um, so even if you didn't accomplish a lot in 2020, we're going to make another list and it's a gratitude list of what you're grateful for in 2020. And my list is actually way bigger than um, 
what I did in 2020. I'm very grateful for a lot of things that happened this year. So we're gonna go ahead and make that list next. Okay, so I now have my list of what I did in 2020 and what I'm grateful for in 2020. And just taking a step back and looking at it, it does make you feel more appreciative, like you've done a lot with your year. So personally for me, this has been a great year because my biggest goal last year in, that I wrote in my 2020 uh, planner was to find clarity with a lot of different things in life, mainly my YouTube channel, but... Um, also just in life in general. I didn't know what I wanted to make videos on. I wasn't enjoying making videos about making videos, but I knew I liked making videos. <laughs> so many videos. And I kind of rebranded to more of a lifestyle kind of a thing on here, and it seems to be going well because my channel is growing a lot and you guys seem are very interactive with it, so I'm very grateful for you guys. And I feel more aligned with the kind of content I'm making right now too, so that makes me really happy. So 2020 gave me clarity, and I'm very happy for that. The other thing it gave me is I feel, so me and Cody were on the fence if we were going to plan our wedding for 2020 or 2021, and luckily our wedding wasn't affected, and we decided 2021 when we first, when we, back when we first picked our dates, luckily. But honestly, I don't think I would have been married. Be, I don't think I would have been ready to get married in 2020, or to buy a house in 2020. And so I, I was going into the new year, I'm ready to find our first place together. I'm ready to get married. I'm ready for all those things, and I feel confident in that, and not like I'm rushed or anything. So I'm very grateful for that kind of clarity too. Okay, and then what I am grateful for in 2020. There's a lot to be grateful for this year. Um, first of all, my Monty Boo, my little Monty, my puppy, got him this year, and very grateful for him. I am very grateful for my family this year. I'm very grateful for that quality time that I got to spend with my, with my family my last year living with them. A lot of the things I said I was grateful, uh, grateful for, I also had on my what I did in 2020 list. Okay, so that is all for 2020. Now we're going to start to focus on 2021. So we're going to kind of go and they don't have a section like they did in my old one. So we're going to make one in uh, this back section here of different categories of um, so like health, relationships, like and then you're going to write little uh, goals for each of these different sections. So I wrote down what I think I'm going to do because mine were different last year than what I might want for this year. Okay, yeah, so my, I think my sections are going to be health, um, home, that's a bit of a different one because we're starting to look for a home that can involve like finding a home and then making it more of a home too kind of a thing. Relationships slash wedding, gonna, those are going to be a double, YouTube money and then the last one's a new one spirituality i want to work more on that this year so we're gonna get working on that right now okay so we kind of made these little sections and then we're gonna make lists of all the personal goals for each section down here this is kind of like i could have made it cuter i should have made it cuter sorry <laughs> um this is kind of like what it looked like in my old one okay so once you've started to write down in your sections like your goals for um, this year make sure to leave some space down below them for places that you could possibly add more stuff uh, because I know goals change throughout the year so I'm leaving plenty of room underneath all of mine to leave room for new goals and stuff like that now once you have all these written it a lot of people like to have one big goal that they focus on throughout the year over all the other goals that's your main uh, focus like last year for me it was clarity quite honestly I don't know what my big goal is yet I'm not sure which one I would choose Quite honestly, there's so much going on this year. My goal is to make it out alive <laughs> from uh, moving out and finding our first house and planning a wedding and all the other stuff that goes with it. And then um, it's not like I have a job where like I just go to work and um, I don't really have to worry about any of the things. If I don't do well, I don't make money. So that's more goals there too. So I don't 
quite honestly I'm not sure yet but once you do have a better better idea of your goals for the year you should try to set a focus of what you want your big goal to be this year but honestly everything for me is a big goal this year all these things are very big this year is very big for me so um we're still deciding on that so I'll go over my goals with you for the year um and let me know some of your goals down below I'd love to hear what you guys are trying to accomplish this year so my first goal is or my first section is health I really want to work on my health this year I want to be more physically active I definitely want to slim down for my wedding um and eat healthy I um I love Weight Watchers I think it's a great program and I want to do more with it this year and one new thing I want to do this year that I haven't done yet I want to go to Weight Watchers meetups and I think that might be good for relationships and maybe meeting other people that are trying to do a similar thing to me so I would like to as long as they have them in 20 like with everything going on right now but I'd like to go to like a Weight Watchers meetup kind of thing so that is a health goal oh and another big goal is finding a healthy way to deal with stress my youtube goals have been very similar for a while i my big goal eventually one day is to get 100,000 subscribers not sure if that'll happen this year but i am i do this past year i've seen a lot of potential i feel really good in the direction that i've been going in with creating more lifestyle stuff uh so a uh, big goal for youtube this year is to collaborate with other youtubers in like a similar niche to me another thing i want to work on more this year is my spirituality i want to pray and meditate more because uh, i always um i always feel good when i do i always want to be reading a good book that's a rule i have for myself no matter what I want to have a new book or a book that I haven't read that could be on my desk or could be on my nightstand that I could read at night. Relationships and wedding. There are so many goals I have for this wedding, but my main one is to plan wedding ahead of time so that when the day comes, I'm not stressed the hell out. And that's, I think I'm going to leave it at that. Get it done. Uh, as soon as this year starts, I've got a whole other planner for my wedding and I need to break it out week by week by what I need to do. So. A lot of goals for that for money i want to continue this wave of having a good financial year um i would like to keep on pushing making more money with youtube because the more i work on that the more i can put more focus into that and create more videos for you guys i would really love to have my first sponsored post or my first sponsored video this year i think that would be a really cool goal to accomplish and for home i would like to find my perfect little first starter home with Cody um, in this house I want to have a dedicated office space okay so those that is those are my goals for the year awesome once you have your yearly goals it's important to follow up and do monthly goals and weekly goals too and that's the one thing I really like about this planner is it has that little section here for my monthly goals and different action steps I can take for it and then once we move to weekly I'll probably either keep that in here or up here somewhere for like what I need to do every day to achieve those weekly goals so it really helps when you break it down and then you can reassess your goals and change them over time like i said my goals changed a lot from last year and um i think for the better so it's very important to reassess your goals see the progress that you're making step by step and measure your results as well so thank you guys so much for planning with me um if you're new here again make sure to subscribe i'd love to see you stick around my channel um and make sure to let me know what your goals are for this year and leave a like it always helps my channel out all right guys i'll see you in the next one bye